guys and welcome to another video tutorial guide session in today's video tutorial guide you will be learning how you can create this simple promotional uh, design for a uh, let's say chicken or a brand just the simple one this is what you'll be learning on how you can create this with pixel lab today so this is also the day two of our beginners guide to graphic design course which is mini 1.0 so if you can see this video so you are also privileged to be part and you can get resources of what my student and enjoy enjoying as uh, as a student under me so we are creating this video so as our second project on our beginners guide to graphic designer so quickly we'll be creating this in the next few minutes so if you are new to this video if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel like this video now and make sure you comment something down to encourage and know if you appreciate what i've been doing on this channel so without further ado let's get right into how to create this particular flyer design in pixel app so guys the first thing i want you to notice that uh i'll first bring in a background i'll first bring in a color background so let me show you how this particular design was made this, this is not my original design i saw it on pinterest i'll put the name of the owner at the uh, description of this video so it is not my design but i want to make this video because i love it when i saw it on pinterest so this is this right over here now so let's get started so the first of all we will begin with the background so and to begin with the background you have to work with these two square to work with background remember when you go you go back to color now so when you get to color you don't select this color you go for gradient because we'll be using two or uh, two colors you know anything you want to use that is more than one color is called gradient let me just put it that way anything any color mixture of colors that is beyond one is called gradient so we'll be using two color for the background of this particular design and so to do that remember go to gradient and click on this plus button icon here this plus button icon beside the color or uh, this color wheels so click on this person button icon and we'll be selecting this we'll be selecting this because we need something like this we'll be working with something like this now okay now so we select our first color so also in this video pay rapt attention to everything i'll be doing because uh this video is a little bit um or uh, sensitive you have to follow every process if you want to get this video and you don't have to stress me anytime you come to my dm so to do this now so the first one click on this first color wheel click on this first color wheel and click on this color this water drop stop that looks like this in enam remember look at it again click on this now when you click on this you want this where you select colors for whatever you want to work with so you go over to this top again this is called color picker in pixel lab click on this color picker and click on the original design i will send the design to the group so you can access every color i'll be using now so we'll be selecting the first color which is the color that is on this edge of this design so is this color we'll be using number one so i've selected the color can you see it over here now so i've selected the color when you have selected you have picked the area or uh, your color you want to select is click on this mic icon here click on ok you should have something like this now so we want to select the second color we are going to repeat the same process we did for this first one so to do that make sure you select this second um color color um what should i call this for you guys it's more like a second color we let's just put it that a color slider so select this color slider right here now you'll be able to change this black color so select it go over to color again go to this color picker at this top of this now click on that design and also select a color that is similar to the middle this one is kind of orange orange or light orange and the edge one is kind of red so select it so just increase it a little bit over here now so you will have click on ok click on ok so can you see we have gotten the same color with this original design we have just gotten the same gradient can you see that like it looks like colors uh, another light is brewing out at the middle of this thing that is how you can do it with gradient so this is how we've done now so we are still we are still working with the background so we'll do the next thing i want to do now is you want to bring in this uh ray of lights can you, if you can see closer if you can look closer you will see some rays of light that is coming from the middle of the design that is what i want to bring in again for you now so to do that sorry to do that now go over to from gallery click bring it from gallery don't select it from here bring it from gallery here right here now so i'll go over to my background stuff and i'll select uh their kind of color real okay i have something similar so i'll be showing you how you can also do yours now so let me go over to my background or my background resources and let me quickly search for that particular um color reels that 
you can also use so we can use this guy over here now so we select this one can you see now we select this one over here and I click on this now so let me recrop this let me recrop a little bit so that blue part will not be shown so just leave it like this now so i'll give i will leave the link of all these resources to the group and even at the description of this video if you don't see it here you can remind me in the comment section and just put it there if i have not put it in the description so this is it over here now so the next thing you want to do on this second one is to go over to erase color go over to erase color like this now click on able you should remove one of the colors either you move you remove the white or you remove the green color just make sure you remove one of the color on this now so when you have this click on ok we will not change the overall color of this particular uh, color rail so go over to color enable the color so we give a yellowish color or uh, a orange color actually so something like this but not really this. okay let's go with this yellow now so let me see this is the color for just some select something that is light yellow from your color way and you will have this like this now so go over to relative size increase everything to 100 so that it will fit in into uh this particular design now send it to the back you to send it to the back go over to this to back and you send it to the back like this now so we have something like so let me reduce this so that we can see the next thing i want to do so when you get to this stage when you get to this stage still on this particular one go over to eraser 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 now and you no know, just try look at what even everything i'll be working in this thing now go over to this first slider right here now so increase it increase it like this you'll be looking you'll be seeing it here increase this one to a little bit now so when you increase it like this try to clean all the edges of that uh, of this second uh, light ray that we bring it into pixel art clean the edges clean the edges all the edges here so just clean it like this now click on ok and you have something like this now when you have something like this go over to opacity next. remember we are still on that color rail go over to opacity like this and uh, reduce the opacity reduce the opacity like this now so when you reduce the opacity to something just make sure it's visible but not really showing so increase it increase it also increase it also increase it also like like this now and um, let's reduce a little bit okay reduce it a little bit now and go over to the opacity again reduce the opacity again and we should we have something like this we have something like this. so go over to this uh layers try to lock that color right now and the next thing now we want to bring in uh, our text so the roots kitchen it was kitchen the roots at the background no oh yeah so the main test so go over to test select a color like just select a test and just write kitchen 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 like this okay kitchen like this now go over to front select so we'll be looking for a long font a tall font so we can use big bars let's go with this big bars big bars so if you check your uh, front you should have something like this so we can use this big bars like this increase the size next increase the size of that particular big bars increase it just make sure it's so is the font that is tall like this now so when you have it copy that that kitchen test copy it again put it at the middle copy it again just arrange it arrange it copy it and copy it up to four places so centralize like this centralize 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 also and this also you should centralize this so yeah move to move it move the uh move them closer to each other now move them closer to each other okay okay now so we are good we are good we are good so now okay now okay now okay we have this now so another trick i want to show you in this video is on how you can move these four elements i want to move these four text at the same time so check how i'm doing it with this now so go over to this color setter click on go to this down part here now and click on this select all the things you want to move at once so when you select it go over to this pencil and stuff like this now you have the option to move around so move it and you may increase a little bit and just move it to everywhere you want so this is how you can move many elements at once in pixel lab this is how you can move it so this is one of the tricks you see why you should watch this video now so the next thing now after that kitchen text is to bring in this chicken bring in this chicken like this now so to bring in a chicken let me reduce the size of all the text they are too big now so this is just follow the same process reduce the size and let me centralize again let me centralize everything to the middle now so then now let's bring in the text let's bring in that chicken now the chicken now so this is the chicken i have it so don't worry i will leave a link or i'll send it to the group this particular chicken okay so this is it over here now so let me take this to the front and just put it somewhere here so this is the chicken now this is the chicken now so just put it at the middle centralize it centralize it like this so when you centralize like this now 
you want to give that chicken a shadow a shadow so go over I'll click on that chicken you go over to shadow like this go over to shadow like this you enable the shadow and when you have the shadow like this it's not okay so go over to this plus button icon try to reduce your opacity from here so it is opacity from here and go over to this offset x try to move the shadow to a little bit out of out of this thing so like this now can you see can you see what i've just done so make sure you follow this thing i don't want you guys to create something that is not appealing so follow everything i have done now i have done now and you will be able to get the same results now so still on that background let's find something to do to that background i'm not still okay with that background so let me go over here now opacity opacity reduce the opacity a little bit now so the next thing i want to bring a light color i want to bring a light color let me bring a light a light so i'll make sure i'll leave the description i'll leave a link you can access this thing and be user. so let me go over to not here not here so not here okay my light my light reduce my light okay i'll use this particular one so this is here over here now so i will make sure i change the color i change the color to a uh, light yellow light yellow like this now so i'll just increase and send it to the back send to the back of the overall design so can you see what we have now send to the overall back of the design reduce the uh, opacity a little bit just make sure you serve as a light rail so you use it and you will have this like this now can you see what we've just done and what we have all right here now so now the next thing now we want to do this price tag we want to do this price tag so you must do it exactly as i'm doing it i must see it in your design or if you are submitting to me i must see it in your design just like everything i'm doing right now so go back to shapes pick on your shapes pick on your shapes make a circular shapes and uh, have something like this now we'll be selecting the colors also from there now so increase the size go over to gradient go over to gradient on that shape so click on this plus button icon we'll be using something like this so leave it at this default color slider that you can see so click on the first color now color repeat the process we did for the background again so go over uh, to this particular design we pick first pick this green color if you want to zoom in to select the color just zoom in like this and you will have this now so leave this at that so pick this second color with this top color now pick on color click on picker go back to the design try to zoom in so that you can get the exact stuff so i'll pick this color again click ok like this pick ok like this and you will have this you should have this now so when you get to this stage now when you get to this stage now click on ok now go over to inner shadow remember we are on this uh, icon go over to inner shadow enable the inner shadow enable the inner shadow use this particular uh, gradient okay inner shadow increase the blurriness a little bit okay you have this now so we should have this and the next thing you need to do still on that circle go over to stroke enable the stroke can you see now it should bring automatic white color but if it doesn't bring the select your white color from here and you will have this and you will have this you will have this so can you see how we've been able to do the price tag now so the next thing now is to write that 50 dollars on it so let me just put it a little bit so the next thing is so how to write that 50 dollars so bring in another test we'll be using another, another font click on edit and we'll be writing this dollar is called 50 dollars 50 dollars so put it like this now so we look for another font i'll be using another font entirely so let me search for montserrat montserrat so use montserrat for others so let's leave it at medium medium like this so just pick any font that you have in your stuff and you pick it like this um just make sure you put it on top of that price and you will have this you will have this you will have this you will have this now so after that after that so next thing now we should do is to bring in this brush this white brush below so i'll bring in another brush again so go from from gallery i'll make sure i'll put all these resources in the description of this video so now the next thing i'll go over to paper and brush and i'll select a particular brush so let's use this um let's see if we can use this guy we should be able to use this uh, particular brush so let me just manipulate it a little bit so call crop it like this and in try to increase the size increase the size very big and um oh i'm not sure we can use this it's too okay let me try to turn it turn it rotate would rotate so uh rotate rotate like this now rotate like this and oh um, let's let me delete it let me delete let me reselect let me look for another brush so go for from gallery and um my brows and let me select another brush another brush which brush can we use okay let's use this brush right here now 
we use this brush right now so i'll go over to erase color i'll pick remove the white color remove the white color so it has helped me to remove it increase the tolerance a little bit and when we have this now we'll go over to color again and turn the overall thing to a white color well, turn it to white color so we have this now we have this so we'll be using this particular brush to or uh, to just write it to just write um the stuff so let me increase it a little bit so that a part will not be showing so let's just put it like this let me just put it like this now so you can use any brush but i'll leave this brush also in the design design so let me copy this 50 dollars right up and we use it for delivery nationwide and delivery nationwide Del oh sorry delivery nation wide okay 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 so put in all these text put in all this text change the color to black change the color to black now and um you have this you have this reduce the size a little bit okay let's take this to the front so put it here now so put the delivery nation wide centralize it and the next one which is our content so you can just put your number contact so you can use this my contact also oh um 905 so i'll just leave it so just put your contact reduce the size reduce the size to something like this and you go over to um uh, spacing spacing increase the spacing and um i'm done i think we are done with the major stuff so let's increase this increase the size a little bit so just put it like this now put your uh contact like this now so let me increase the inner spacing so this is um basically everything about this particular design so this is basically everything about it so we should write this chop and smile also so just chop and smile so increase chop and uh and smile so it's a very awesome design a cool design that um you guys should just you know is a cool process so follow this process you will get it i can very see you will get it if you follow and you watch this video so if you watch this video also just let me know when you want to submit your assignment i have a gift for you for you if you're a student i have a gift for you for watching also just let me know you watch the video in my comment section i will like i have a special gift for you also so now let me over this now so this can you see what we have created can you see what we have created with pixel lab see what we have created with pixel lab can you see how amazing this is so now when we are done with this so to save your phone if you want to save as project in case anytime you want to come back to it click on this save as project and just write your um, name let me just say chop and smile and smile so chop and smile design so click on ok it shall save to your project now to save to your mobile phone to save to your gallery so save as image make sure you also go for ultra make sure you always go for ultra like this and just click on save to gallery and you have it in your gallery and you have it in your gallery so this is everything i want to show you in this video this is everything i want to show you in this video now okay so now we have it saved to our mobile phone if you find this helpful please like subscribe to the channel and then comment down if you love this video thank you for watching this video and also see you at the next video